Look, Sean, you can't wear the same thing as as your friend when you go out. Everybody you know knows I mean? that. Like if you and I go out to dinner, we can't mm-hmm. be both wearing you know green polo shirts. It's yeah, just, you can't do that. We look like fools. It's just not done. Why and why is it not done? Well, it's not done because it's just like we're we're meant to accent one another. Yes. Right? Like matching seems cool on surface, but it's really not creative. If I'm wearing the same right? thing that you're wearing, am I expressing myself? No, you're not, man. No, so not. and not only are you not expressing yourself, but you're not also helping me to spread my wings. No. You know? And the same thing could be said for a guitar. If we're both playing like some cowboy chord, you know, we're jamming out and stuff, like why would we why one of us is not necessary. Yeah, so like if someone's playing like a A. Yeah. You know? D. Right. E. E. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll do the same thing. Alright. But what if? What if? You're there, I join you for a fine dinner. Wow. That is teamwork. That was teamwork. And see, that's what it's about, you know? Life is about teamwork. For sure. Helping each other out. So, but Sean, I unfortunately, my wardrobe is very limited. I only yeah. have a few t-shirts, a.k.a. cords. Uh-huh. So, like, can you... What are you even doing there? So, you know, like, a lot of times when it's late at night... Sure. You go on the Zara website... Uh, oh, yeah. And you just browse mm-hmm. for, for a new wardrobe. Mm-hmm. Sure. You know, I don't do that. No. Mm-hmm. I study. Wonderful. I learned a new chord voicing. And that's how I that's how I get off okay. at night. Uh, with yeah. These chord voicings. I like it. So, when you're playing A major... Right? Open A. Gotta love it. No big, no big deal. One of the first chords everybody learns. That's right. I think of that right here. Mm-hmm. You probably already know this. It's just an F major voicing. Right. And then if you know the musical alphabet, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. Mm-hmm. It's it's the same chord, the same three notes, triad, but just in the middle of the guitar, a different part of the guitar. Some of you. People have never ventured out here. Yeah, I, I would know? I would wager some people have never been past the fifth fret. Some people's entire wardrobe they just is just live from, in the Shire. from Amazon or Target. That's right. Right? That's uh, right. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And then just, you know, uh, Banana Republic? Uh, Maybe. Mm-hmm. Macy's? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Uh, ironically, thrift the first... Sh- thrift shops? I was going to say Goodwill. That's <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That's ironically, a, yeah. that's the, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's where the good stuff is, sure. people. Mm-hmm. This is just a very basic introductory lesson. Instead of whenever you see the A, think of this A, too. There's just a couple different ways to do it. And then you'll find also too that these work, like if you just strum an A chord. A bunch of different ways you can play it. I can strum in time with what he's doing, you know? And then it's extending the range of what you're hearing sonically, or I can kind of pick through it. So in that way, there's kind of an intrinsic melody that exists within each chord that you can explore a little bit more once you learn a few different voicings, right? But this wasn't it. This, you know, this isn't just, you'd be stupid to just go out in public wearing just a shirt, right? Just an A mm-hmm. chord. In fact, mm-hmm. you might go to jail. Yeah. To be honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, we've, I've That's been right. there. I've been there. Yeah. Man. You, you uh, were in public wearing just a G string. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. What's the next chord? So the next chord would be D. Nice. Now I like what I like what you did at home when you played that A chord at first. Too. Mm-hmm. So why don't we use that? Both like, hmm. right here. So this is the A shaped D chord that I can play over his open cowboy chord, mm-hmm. right? So same thing as before, strum together. works really well together. Now, another thing about an A to a D, you see these chords together a mm-hmm. lot, because in, if this is in the key of A, right? This is just a one, four, five. If you don't know what that means, by the way, we made a whole class on it. We did. Mastering yeah, the fretboard. We go over this in a lot more mm-hmm. detail, but check that out in the link, but precursor, if you don't want to check it out in the link because you're mean to us, uh, it's just these are chords you'll find all the time together, right? Mm-hmm. One, four, and five. A, D, E. Anytime you have a chord like this, 
this is your one chord. Where my ring finger is, see how like my ring finger is on the seventh fret of the D string, my middle finger is on the sixth fret of the G string, my pointer finger is on the fifth fret of the B string to make that A chord, that different voicing that we're connecting right here. Wherever my ring finger is, that's gonna be a chord that always goes really well with it, in this case, the four chord in the key of A. Now it doesn't have to be in this spot, it could be anywhere on the guitar. What's this chord? Nobody knows what this chord Nobody is. Knows. Nobody's ever seen it. But I know that in the key of whatever the hell this is, this is the That's four, the four chord, chord, right? Yep. So from here. Now it could be kind of tricky to bar this with one finger. Some That's people great. might yeah. want to use your middle finger, yep. your ring finger, your pinky to get just the seventh fret on the sure. G and B strings. To get this D major chord, another way to look at this, maybe you've seen a bar chord. It's just like this, but without the root first. So however you want to get from here to here is on you. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to dress you. No, no, man, come you on. Know, this isn't medieval times. When you have a not professional a, chambermaid. I'm not a handmaiden. No. No, I'm a man. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just a man with tips. That's right. And that's all I am. So, so what's the tip for the... So that's it, you just move it up one whole step. Yeah, boom. And then the next chord, four to the five chord, is one step away. Oh, oh, Listen to that. What? Oh. That's it. That's so, it's so good. See, because... The range we are covering. We're not wearing the same thing, mm -hmm. but we're wearing the same style. That's right, Like, yeah. these are handsome guys. Yeah, for sure. Anybody would see us. Yeah. And be like, these guys know fashion. Sure. They know swag. Mm -hmm. They know confidence. Mm -hmm. They got it figured out. Right. Uh huh. Sure. Free drinks. Free free drinks. Don't mind if we do. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's it. One chord, four chord, five chord. Yeah. No matter where you're at. A, D, E. Move it up a step. What's two frets after A? B. B. What's the four of the key of B? Nobody knows. Nobody but knows. it's here, and then you go higher. Wonderful. Right? Uh huh. It doesn't get much simpler, but you'll sound very impressive. My guitar playing sounds like I'm a well-dressed man right now. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You wouldn't really know that I'm wearing tattered cargo shorts. That's right. And no shoes. No shoes. Shoeless. <laughs> <laughs> Shoeless by on purpose. Yeah, for sure. I, I, I could afford shoes. Nobody's saying I you can I choose not to. Of course you could. <laughs> so that's it. Mm -hmm. Major chords. Just anything else you want to you wanna add to this? You know, I just want to say that in addition to uh, adding range and, um, you know, in interesting kind of uh, accents to the chords your friend is playing, it also sets you up for a wicked solo immediately. Yes. You're already does. right there, you know? Mm -hmm. So if Sean is doing this, you know, you're already yeah. right there to. Oh, then. You know? Use the arpeggios and lead stuff that we yeah. teach in the class. Yeah, so videos. check out the master class, and that'll show you how to kind of link these chord shapes into lead melody lines and get you away from playing basically like things that sound scaly, as I say, you yeah. know, and get uh -huh. into playing actual melodies Nobody along with your friend. Scaly. Nobody wants to sound like a lizard that's when dumb. they play. You no, 100% no. Yeah. Except for maybe lizards. Well, Rocking that's that just lizard pride. They don't know any better. <laughs> what are you trying to say about lizards, man? <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Let's not go there. Yeah. Lizard yeah. people make up like 5% yeah. of my audience. That's right. Now, the last thing I want to say about this mm -hmm. is all we did is we used what's known as an F shape. Sure. Right? Uh, in a different spot. And an A shape in two different spots. Mm -hmm. But I think more importantly is just being thoughtful about the shapes and stuff that you already know. Because like, oh, you, you learn a, a C major chord. And when you're first starting out, it's hard to switch that, you know? So... Uh, Back in my early days of playing, I wasn't very thoughtful about this stuff. And it's like, I learned to shape, and I learned it just for that one specific instance. Anything that you learn on guitar, the beautiful thing about guitar and how the fretboard is arranged, has value in other places than where you learn it, mm -hmm. right? So it's like, oh, well, this is a C chord. Think about, think about this as not being just a C chord, but a shape that you can use. This could be a, a D-ish chord. This could be a type of F chord, a type of... G chord, moving it around, and then moving open chord shapes and knowing why they are that way, like a G major chord, for example. One of my one of my biggest breakthroughs when I was first starting out is like just knowing a root and its major third to start with a G major chord. This can be the beginnings of any kind of chord anywhere. 
then just kind of like combining them, yeah. and then just seeing this shape as something that I can move. Even if I'm not playing everything like open, just kind of seeing these little pieces of things. Being able to move around, I think, is super valuable. It is very valuable. Because you already put the work in to make your hand, to contort your hand in these awkward, awkward things. Mm -hmm. just, just like your wardrobe. A shirt doesn't have to just be a shirt. You know? Mm -hmm. You can dress a wound with it. A shirt. In the field, tactically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> think about how valuable that shirt is. Mm -hmm. That's a tourniquet. Yeah, you could use it as a parachute. If you really need to. You know? Yeah. To mm -hmm. varying degrees of success. Mm hmm. Mostly no success, but <laughs> but hey. it's the it's the journey. But it's, it's, it's about to try. You know, <laughs> you know, you know? Yeah. you're just gonna fall to your death like an idiot. No, you're being gonna all it. sad gonna, about it. Yeah, because here's the truth. Yeah, falling to your death and you're fine, fully clothed. <laughs> clearly had been crying <laughs> yeah, right. or someone can see that you tried to use your shirt as a parachute they were like he was a survivor to the end <laughs> to the <laughs> he, end he was, he was trying man was trying. say what you want <laughs> yeah, that's not, right it's not about yep. the end result that's right it's about the that's journey right. you know what so continue your own journey yeah go over my man justin's yeah, youtube come, channel come check out some like guitar pedals and some there. lessons uh -huh. and keep the mids in ktmi our podcast that's right uh, mm -hmm. and, and don't be afraid to improvise that's what this is that's what, what life's all, all about, about, man.